A couple of months ago I ordered some stuff from Japan and well it arrived today so we're gonna take a look inside. I'm Paul, this is my little mod shop and let's dig in. Every so often when I traverse the internet I see something that piques my eye and I think well that's nice I want to have it or okay um, maybe I can do a video about that so I tried to look it up on my favorite proxy service site which is Sendico and yeah when things get loaded in the warehouse I'm gonna let them send me a parcel which this one is right now all right so let's have a look inside of it okay nice package as always thank you Sendico oh yeah nice I remember that uh, I actually wanted uh, an original copy of uh, The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time in uh, near mint condition for quite a while and I got myself one of these. The auction was with another game which is Majora's Mask so I've got both Zelda games for the, uh, Nintendo 64 right there. Really nice. Put that aside for now. Let's see what we got here. Oh! Eh? What's that one? Ah, I need a... Ah, I need something to cut. Ah, let's have a look. Alright. Ah, yeah. Now I remember. There's a memory card and a game in it. Ah, let's see. GameCube memory card. Always nice to have. There is... Saga 2, which I actually don't know. That was not the important thing about that auction. That's not why I bought it. This should be, I guess, is this also Saga 2? Ah, no, it's another game. Yeah, it's a square game, which actually I need to look up what it is uh, in uh, English. Actually, I don't know. Yeah, I will put it somewhere. All right. And there is a power brick for the GameCube, which I'm uh, already teasing right now. Um, got some more games here. Ah, yeah. Um, I've ordered some uh, Pokemon cartridges um, because I uh, have something up and coming um, where I need some uh, original Pokemon uh, PCBs. I've got the red edition, I've got the gold edition, silver edition and crystal edition with the printed PCB, it's so nice. Ah, and there's another one, the Pokemon Pinball, I never played it as a kid. Um, a friend of mine had it and he let me try it at least, but I never played it for myself and I, and I found it with the auction, so... Oh, and it's in mint condition there is nearly no scratches on it let's have a look oh yeah now we get into the good stuff this is a game boy printer with the uh the printer and the camera and some rolls there is like everything in it so that's for another video i guess there's nothing else in it, is it? No. Alright, so I take that one aside for now. This, friends, is a Japanese exclusive GameCube. Let me get it out for This is a Japanese exclusive GameCube in orange, which was never released outside of Japan. Um, and I'm quite excited about that one because um, I've looked for an auction with the Game Boy Player for quite some time and I never found one for a reasonable price because they're getting a little pricey these days. Yeah, let's see, is there a game in it? Yeah, the original Game Boy Player CD is in it, nice. Looking good, just a few scratches over here, but that's, that's fine, I guess. And of course, the corresponding controller with it. That's quite a look, isn't it? I love it. Nice. That's so awesome. 
like I said before, I ordered via Sendico, which is a proxy service because you can't order from um, Japanese auction houses uh, like Yahoo uh, Japan directly. So that's an issue and I'm glad that those uh, proxy services exist so I can import stuff from uh, Japan. They take really good care of their stuff, uh, not like uh, I did as a kid. So um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that Pokemon pinball game. It's in mint condition. Yeah, um, for all the other things, um, I think you can figure out what uh, some of the next videos are about. So. Um, there's something for the GameCube, there's something for the um, Game Boy uh, camera and the pocket printer and um, some other Pokemon stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So thanks for sticking around and I think you can see what you can expect uh, on video, on the video side for the next few weeks. And yeah, um, if you enjoyed the content, feel free to leave a like and subscribe. I'm Paul, this is my little mod shop and I hope to see you soon. Bye!